Hello, I am Joe Alexi, and welcome back to Morrowind. So we're here at the Amuse you camp, and I, oh, hello. And I figured we would go ahead and save ourselves some time by doing the traveling. So, we're here. We need to get them to name us Neverine. And then, okay, that, I don't know about that. Neverine. You are an outlander. It is no surprise that you do not know how to behave, but it is a surprise that you do not know how to listen. We will not speak of this until you have shown courtesy for my Gluckens. The Gluckens of the Amusei are Akasa, Harder, and Initiate Dot the Block, Hunter and Brother, and Yenema, Scout and Brother. Okay, accompany you. Have you made all day Droth a safe place for the Amusei? If I may pass in safely to the old sanctuary and see a great statue in the inner shrine, then the place is safe for my people. If De old Daedroth is safe, are you ready for me to accompany you there and test with our lives whether it is indeed safe? Yes. Very well, Joxy. Now I will accompany you to the Daedric Shrine at Old Daedroth, and when you have brought me to the old sanctuary beneath the ruins, and when I see the great statue of Shagorath in the inner shrine, then I will surely know that you have made all Jezra say that are safe for the Amase. And I will name you Amase Neverine. Go ahead, and we will speak further before the great statue. All right, are you coming? All right. All right. So pretty much, I guess we already talked to her about that in a previous episode, but I don't know which one. I don't know which one, but she's already gave us the task of doing this. And, you know, we've already been there like two or three times. All right, come on. We've already been there two or three times, so we're just going to assume that it's safe and hope that nothing... Of course. Get out of here. All right, come on. All right. Yeah, she's not very fast, but that's okay. So since we already have the Neverine of the Urshlanku, if we could go ahead and push out this one, that would give us two of the four that we need. So that would save us a little bit of episodes. Come along, woman. We need to go. All right. Yeah, I'm still kind of worried about our episode 225 because we're like slim, slim pickings. We need to go ahead and get the, uh... oh my goodness, you're way back there. I'm trying to think of what it's called. You got to do the hoarder door quest and I think there's five, five, yeah, five hoarder doors we got to be. So that means there's five quest, you know, one for each one. And then we need to do the camps. And there's four of those, which we've already done one, and this is our second one. So, we might luck out and we might make our thing or not. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Alright, come along, wise woman. She didn't cast the spell, so that means she must have, like, an enchanted item on her. Okay, she is not fast at all. Come along. Alright, we have made it. Alright, we should be good. Okay, she is like... What is that? What are you doing? Oh my god. I will wait for you, but you need to, like, stop doing what you're doing. <laughs> Man, what are you? A black anther. Alright, let's go. Now, hopefully, we could just knock this out real quick, like, and get over there to do another one. That would be awesome, because if we could, could do that maybe once or twice... 
we will actually make our deadline. But until then, we're going to have to kind of wing it. Which is fine. Winging it is actually a pretty good strategy in my book. It works out pretty well. It works out pretty well. Come along. We need to get this in the bag. You'll name me the Neverine. Alright, here we go. Here's your shrine. Thank you. I said I would accompany you, Jossie, to see if you had made all day draw safe for the Amase. You have fulfilled your, my conditions. Thank you, Jossie. The Amase shall be saved, and if you wish, now I shall name you Neverine of the Amase. You have made this place safe for the Amase, and so I name you Amase Neverine. War leader of the Amuse and protector of the people. I also give you the Mad Stone of the Amuse, which shall be a sign to all Dunmer that you are the Neverine, and that the Amuse shall follow you in all things, even unto death, until the enemy is defeated or until you are dead. Now I can stay only briefly. Soon I must return to the Amuse camp and make preparations to relocate here. Boom! This one all right, we are the Neverine of the Amuse and of the Urslanku. We still got the Xanab and the, what are those guys called? I almost called them the Eber Nanite, but that's at one place that I don't really remember. Ooh. I don't know what that does. All right, water walking. All right, yeah, we're making progress, I love it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and head over to the, is it the Zan, it's the Zanab tribe and the Ebersum, that's in. The Ebersum people, completely forgot their name. I almost called them Ebernanites, but you know, that's at one place. We have been there before, but I don't recall what we were doing there. It's just one of those... Get away! It's just one of those places that something happened, but... Shit. Alright, we're going to have to wait here. Come down here. Come down here! All right, and then we'll get a rest. Okay. Water walking. Perfect. We are doing so well. Oh, speaking of doing well, on a, I started me another guy on Skyrim Special Edition. This time, get away from me. This time I went as a high elf girl, and I named her Anaxia. It's a pretty interesting character. She's a destruction mage. It's all she does is destruction. Love it. Alright. So pretty much straight this way should take us right to where we need to be. Come on. I ain't even bothering with you. Ain't even going to give you the time of day, my guy. I'm just going. Oh, come on. I see that little mouse up there looking down at me. Terrible. Alright, we're getting somewhere. Yeah, we pretty much still ended up with a bunch of travel. That's fine. Ow. We're actually getting somewhere, though. All we gotta do is locate the Zanab tribe. Ha! That reminds me. The Ebersum tribe, they give you dirty underwear for, like, their, uh, thing that they give you. You know, gift or whatever. Alright, we should be, like, seeing it. Get away from me, you little... 
I don't like them guys. All right. All right, here's a tomb. We're looking for a little group of tents. This would probably be easier in the daytime. Oh, we found them. Perfect. Okay. We need to talk to that wise woman. Where's that slave? That's a good question. Alright, I am Sanunimu Zabmat, wise woman of the Zanab. Do you come for services or counsel? Hmm. Never in prophecies. We heard rumors some outlanders say that the Nevereen, so are you the outlander? What do you say to that, eh? Tell my story and show my proofs. Hum, is that true? That is a very interesting ring. It is part of the story of the Never, the Ring of Moon and Star, that none will wear the, but never himself. You should talk to Ashken Kassad. The Ashken is very cautious about this outlander who claims to be the Neverine. He's a clever Ashkan and a very great man. He's not a modest man. He's very proud and conscious of his rights and honors. It is fortunate for our tribe that he needs counsels and the modest lawyers of the wise woman. Okay. Okay, right, let's go talk to this guy. Oh. Hello, sir. So you're Joe Oxy, the outlander who claims to fulfill the Neverine prophecies. You are welcome to our hospitality, outlander. But you must tell us, how can an outlander be the Neverine? I don't know. Neverine prophecies. Hospitality. News. Hmm. Neverine. We have heard the rumors. We know that you are the outlander who claims to fulfill the Neverine prophecies. But teach us, Joxy. How could an outlander be the Neverine? Tell your story, show your proofs, and ask to be named Neverine. Politely steer the conversation away from the topic. Oh, that's funny. Ho, ho, ho. Excuse me. Do not think me rude, but seriously. Do you believe this story yourself? I mean, no offense, but you must admit. You are an outlander completely ignorant of our ways. How could you ever be a our war leader? What sensible Ashcan would ever choose you to lead those tribes? Ho 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 ho. Okay. Persuade him. I'll persuade him. Skies above. If talk were wealth, you'd be made rich. You'd make me rich. Okay. Tell your story. Ask for a test. Very well. A vampire named Clavero has taken refuge in a Nerano ancestral tomb. If you are as worthy as you say you are, it should be no small matter if you dispose of this vampire there. You have your test. Now, perhaps you should leave me in peace for a bit. Okay. All right. Wait a minute. I want to talk to you about that place. Oh, he's calling me an outlander. Uh, it's to the north. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, whatever, dude. Alright, so he's a straight-up jerk. You know, I was just beginning to think, is this the guy that wants us to go get a high-born Telvanny bride for him? Because I do remember we had to buy a slave and, like, get her training and stuff to be, like, you know, to pretend like she's high-born or whatever. And basically that guy... He, he fell for it. We tricked the shit out of him. Alright, so now we're looking for a tomb. It might be this one. Are you said tomb? Venom. Oh, he said... Nerano. Alright. Nerano, Ancestral Tomb. He said it's to the north. But he did say we'd probably get lost because we're an outlander. That's fine. It's fine, that's fine. That dude could be a jerk to us all he wants. 
But in the end, he will call us in a ring. Alright, I am not seeing no dugout. Hmm. Oop, this might be it. Are you it? Alright, it's darker than hell in here. And enemies are nearby. Wait a minute, what was that? F5. Ah, perfect. Alright, let's get in here. Okay, we're not messing with him. Okay, so that guy was alive and like hanging around down here. He wasn't a summoned. Yeah. Literally, we will just cut through everybody here. A rusty key to Enderin. A key to Nerano chest. Oh, and opened. A common amulet. Alright. So we're going to take that paper. Pretty much, I do remember that. It was these guys. They're... Oh, that hurt. They're tomb raiders. You're dead, you old bastard! Be gone. All right, he's dead. All right. Oh, we fell for it. Oh, that was paralysis. Wonderful. All right, that seems to be it. Mission accomplished. We did what we came to do. Wait, make sure that's him. Yep, Calvero. He's dead. We did what we could. Oh! Alright. Now we're going to head back to them. Now, I could have sworn that, like, the dude wanted a uh, highborn Telvani bride. That might be the Xanab. Maybe. But I'm pretty sure the Xanab is the ones that are like, you know, they they have you assassinate members of their group so you could they can like put in the people they want. But you know, it works. All right, we are coming up on it now. Oh my God! There's a bunch of skitter bugs out here. All right, where are you, Ashken? I have to have words with you. All right. Dead? Well, perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps you should be the Neverine. Well, so you killed the vampire, Calvero. Ahem. Well, I will be happy to acknowledge you as a Zen of Neverine, but it is customary for us to see seeking an honor from the Ashken to offer the Ashken a generous gift as a mark of respect. Because you are an outlander and you do not know our customs, I will do you a great favor of naming the gift I wish to receive. A highborn Telvani bride. I knew it. Pretty one, plump, with big hips, to bring me many sons. Where will you find a highborn Telvani bride? That's simple. You should visit highborn Telvani lords and inform them that the Ashken Kassad of the lordly Zanab would do them an honor of making their daughter his bride. Surely many Telvani lords would be honored to receive such an offer. Consider carefully the many daughters offered and choose for me the finest. Take counsel with my wise woman, Sinanunamu, Zabinat. She knows my mind well in many matters. All right. All right. So I guess that was just a, uh, well, ah, oh, cruise control. I forgot we could do that. You seek information. Can Not from you. What's your name? Oh, okay. 
All right. Um, 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 boom. All right. I need to talk to you about Hillary prophecies. Okay. Okay, there we go. Kashad wants to tell any bride A, no highborn Telvany would wed an Ashlander. But I have a plan. Go to my friend Selville and man, slave mistress of the festival slave market and tell Arun. Tell her you need a pretty Dunmer slave to pose as a Telvany lady. Then Silva I mean, will tell you what clothes to buy and will dress her like a highborn Telvani. Then escort the pretty slave to Zanam camp and present her to Ashkin Keshad as a highborn Telvani bride. He won't know the difference. <laughs> I love that. Your actions precede you, Outlander. I've heard good things about you. Alright, I'm just going to go through and click these. Alright, that works. And we're being attacked. And I think we're out of time, too. We are. Oh, well. Well, I feel like we got a good bit done this episode. I was kind of worried about getting anything done, but... Ta-da! <laughs> Alright, so this will be our stopping point for today. But, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. And as always... Stay awesome.